over here in this blog, you can see that this is in a particular layout and all of the layout contents are controlled by layout and gadgets, which are located over here on the layout section in the dashboard. Over here, you can see all of the contents, like for example, you see contributors and you see contributors right here. You see blog archive and labels and you see those right here. Let's say I go around onto the contributor and click on the edit button. Once I do that, I can go around and turn off show this widget and hit the save button. Once I do that, I can go around over here and let's say, for example, refresh out the space right here and you can see that the contributor section is not there anymore. Let me just go around over here onto edit and instead of contributors, let me type in authors right here just like this and then show the widget and hit the save button. Once I do that, you can see that if I were to refresh it, you can see that it says authors. Similarly, you can go around and turn off different parts. For example, you can go around turn off the header as you can see right here. And once I do that, what happens is that the header is gone. There's this search uh, bar right here on the top. And if you don't want that, you can simply go around and turn it off. And you can turn these elements on and off as you like, as you can see right here. You can go around over here and turn it on again right here. Hit the save button. You can go around over here and turn it on and so forth, as you can see. So if I were to go around over here, you can see that I can show this widget and change out the properties for indiv uh, individual widget as well and get the layout look that I want. And that is how I can go around and work around with layout and gadgets to change around the layout of my blog as I want inside of Blogger and get more control over how the blog actually looks. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.